bring poetry out of all the ways you fucked me. Tired of the dust-soaked hands, the grind of the bone dry. Isn't it supposed to be easier than this? Doesn't spring come and the rivers flow into the valley? Dip your fingers into all this sweat like in the heat of summer like a dying man or just a man who likes his choice of drink. There's nothing beautiful enough in devastation to warrant its happening. No great literature worth the abuse. This is just a crumpled woman on the floor and her sobbing. The kind that's more drool and snot and mucus, more cage-like finger muzzle sonic rupture than star-crossed lover. Than what could have been, babe, I'm tired. I'm pissed drunk, walking home alone again, buoyant on the warm blankets of last night, leave a girl drowning for long enough, and, well, let me tell you the love poem I wrote for us, how it made me glow with pride. I asked a close friend what he thought it meant. He said, metaphor for a bad decision. Yeah. Babe, nothing grows from this. This bushfire of the season always in limbo. This power line cut puking sparks on the roadside. You wrap around me. Cavalier and arid suck me dry of my marrow in bone. I've always been such sweet wine under your fingers. The way you siphon sweat and come neat. Mm. The thing about liquor and salt, though, is it always leaves you drier. This is a bottomless well. This is your breath as an asking, a passive sap, a nonchalant mechanism. I could never resist you, and you never told me to try. What need does a thirsty man have to keep a girl dry? What need does a drowning girl have but breath? This is just a crumpled woman on the floor and her sobbing. Drool, mucus, snot. This is a bottomless well, sweat and cum. This is the path of least resistance pouring out of my lungs. Babe, I'm tired of this crumbling. I'm tired of holding on. I'm ready for my rainfall. I'll float on, float on.